We are at that time when a great transition takes place. The society, the way we know it now, is changing very rapidly. People are becoming more conscious of the fact that we need to change our habits and take responsibility. A prophesized acceleration of both technology and, and consciousness is occurring right now, which is right on time with what's been decoded from the main information. It's a step forward in an evolution. It's a, an awakening in consciousness. In the great orbit of our two suns, we have turned the corner from the dark ages. Now they're pulling towards each other, bringing us to a higher consciousness. When one understands that we are the microcosm of the macrocosm, the stars that go above and around in various different cycles, then we understand the connection between us and the God. Everything in creation is the same energy, and energy is consciousness, energy consciousness. So we're looking at creation being one gigantic consciousness, one gigantic mind, of which we are all part. So we're like uh, droplets of water in an ocean of consciousness. We're individual to a certain extent, but all together we make up the whole. The more responsible we become for our actions, the more harmonious the world will be. And if enough people catch on and start doing that, then we'll turn the world into a Garden of Eden again. It's up to our focused attention to create that reality. But we have to become aware of who's meddling in our minds. Our mind is our biggest problem when it's not under our control. The agenda seems to be trying to put a negative spin on it, to radiate fear out on the planet as opposed to love. And love is the glue of the universe. The more one loves and finds unity in this world and harmony, the more the blessings will be when that time comes. Doesn't matter which race, culture everyone is confined to, but the same God which resides in me resides in everyone. And when one realizes the God within us, he can see the God within everyone. We are learning that uh, we are co-creators in this experience. It's just a ride, and we can change it anytime we want. It's only a choice. No effort, no work, no job, no savings of money. A choice right now between fear and love. It's really true what uh, my guru and other teachers have said, that if you want to change the world, you've got to start with yourself. The old has to go, the new has to come. Changing the world is not something in the future anymore. I hope it will be better for the kids. It's here and now. We're going to see it happen. So we're really in a, just a great time in history to be living. It's just an amazing time. The great changes that we will see with our own eyes will just be stupendous. The new world of love is coming.